Hi super funners! Today we're going to look at some more wildlife visiting my watering hole. This is a black mamba snake, one of the world's deadliest snakes. It is the fastest and longest land snake in the world. Black mambas are actually brownish in colour with a pale belly. Their name comes from the black colour inside their mouths. This is a green snake and lives in the grass where it is well camouflaged and it's able to climb small trees and bushes. Black mammoths can grow up to 14 feet long which is four and a quarter meters. They typically eat small mammals and birds and have very flexible jaws. You can see the black inside the mouth there. Rattlesnakes are best known for and most easily recognized by their rattle. The rattle is made by segments in the tail locking together. Rattlesnakes eat small animals like rodents, squirrels and rabbits. Chimpanzee young. Chimpanzees use natural tools like sticks or stones to obtain their food using their hands. They use sticks to find termites in the ground and rocks to crack open nuts. This is the female chimpanzee. Females usually give birth to a single infant. The female looks after the baby by letting it cling to her fur. As it gets older, it gets to ride on her back until about the age of two. Chimpanzees like to sleep in trees for safety. This is the ring-tailed lemur. It's only found in Madagascar. They are easy to recognize from their tail. They can climb quite well but prefer to spend a third of their time on the forest floor foraging for food. They eat leaves, flowers, bark, sap and some small invertebrates. Crocodiles are reptiles that have very sharp teeth and powerful jaws. Crocodiles are carnivores and hunt fish, birds, frogs and crustaceans. They live in tropical areas because they are cold blooded. The largest saltwater crocodile found was over 20 feet long, which is 6 metres. This is the Nile crocodile. It mainly eats fish, but will attack almost anything it comes across, including zebras, small hippos, porcupines, birds, other crocodiles and people. It will also scavenge carrion and can eat up to half its body weight at a feeding. The aardvark is an unusual looking animal with a pig like snout, rabbit like ears and a kangaroo like tail. They are nocturnal and avoid the hot afternoon sun by resting in their underground burrow. Their favourite food is termites. They use their clawed spade like feet to dig through a termite mound then its long sticky tongue to reach in and get the insects. The pink flamingo lives where there is water. Flamingos eat algae and tiny shellfish that are rich in carotenoids, which is why these birds are pink or orange. When they want to eat, they put their beak into the water upside down. Their mouth fills with water and any plant or animal remains behind once they pump the water out of their mouth. They like to stand on one foot and can live anywhere between 30 to 50 years. They are able to fly. Meerkats. They have long, strong, curved claws that they use for digging burrows where they live in clans of 20 to 50 animals. They mainly eat insects but also lizards, snakes, scorpions, spiders, plants, eggs, small mammals, centipedes and fungi. They always have one sentry on guard to watch out for predators. This is the spotted hyena. They are scavengers and are also skilled hunters that can take down a wildebeest or antelope. They also kill and eat birds, lizards, snakes and insects. Spotted hyenas have good hearing and sharp eyesight at night time. They are fast and can run for a long distance without tiring. Packs work together effectively to isolate a herd animal and kill it. 
the African wild dog lives on the open plains and sparse woodlands of sub-Saharan Africa. These long-legged canines have only four toes per foot. Each animal has its own unique coat colours and pattern with big rounded ears. African wild dogs live and hunt in packs. This is the black-backed jackal. It has a bushy tail with a black tip and large pointed ears. Its diet typically includes reptiles, birds and their eggs, plants, mussels and fish and dead animals. It also feeds on invertebrates and small to medium sized mammals, using its large mobile ears to detect them before leaping and pouncing on the unsuspecting prey. It is nocturnal. The bearded vulture is the only animal that mainly eats bone. In Crete, it is known as the bone eater. The bird throws the larger bones from a height onto rocky slopes so they break and then quickly descends after them in a characteristic spiral motion. If the bone does not break the first time, they keep on throwing until the bone breaks. The bird then eats the bone pieces starting with the bone marrow. It nests on high rock ledges and inhabits exclusively high mountainous areas in Europe. Vultures love to eat rotten meat. They can glide with their wide strong wings in the air for hours looking for a meal. Vultures eat as much as they can at one meal. They have been known to attack sick or dying animals as well. Vultures live in every part of the world except Australia and the Antarctica. The ostrich is the largest bird in the world. Even though it has wings, it can't fly. But it makes up for the lack of flight by running very fast. The ostrich is found in nature in Africa, but it is farmed all over the world for its meat. The males have black feathers with some white on the underside and tail. The females are usually grey in colour. An ostrich's eyes can be nearly two inches in diameter. This is the ostrich baby. Each herd has one big nest where all the eggs are laid. This way the entire herd can help to protect the eggs. Ostrich eggs are the biggest eggs of any animal at an average of three pounds. Ah, this is the mandrill female and the baby. Mandrills are the largest of all monkeys. They are shy and reclusive primates that are found in the rainforests of equatorial Africa. Mandrills are extremely colourful with blue and red skin on their faces and their brightly coloured bottoms. These distinctive colours become brighter when the animal is excited. They have very long canine teeth that can be used for self-defence. This is the mandrill male. Mandrills live in troops which are headed by a dominant male and include a dozen or more females and young. They use their long arms to forage on the ground for fruits, roots and animals such as insects, reptiles and amphibians. Their cheeks have built-in pouches that are used to store snacks for later consumption. Ah, the baby hippopotamus. The male hippopotamus is called a bull, the female a cow and the baby a calf. The hippopotamus is the third largest land animal after the elephant and white rhinoceros and are found in Africa. A hippopotamus likes to spend a large amount of time in the water to cool off. They have a barrel shaped body, short legs and a huge mouth. Look at those teeth. Hippos can run fast and can be extremely aggressive especially if they feel threatened and they are considered to be in the top 10 most dangerous animals in Africa. The 
African elephant is the largest land living mammal in the world. They use their tusks to dig for food and find water. Their main diet is leaves, twigs, bamboo and roots. The elephant's trunk can grow to be about 6 feet or 2 meters long. An elephant uses its trunk to lift objects or food and suck up water then pour it into its mouth. They can swim using their trunks like a snorkel. How clever is that? Elephants give birth after an almost 22 month pregnancy. Each female elephant gives birth to a calf every two to four years. The baby elephant. At birth, elephants already weigh 200 pounds, which is 91 kilos, and are three feet or one meter tall. If you like this video, please remember to give a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching Super Fun Reviews. Please stay right on here for lots more fun videos. See you again soon.